This is the end. I know. I feel it. I've had a long life. 130 years is no joke. I've always tried to live the best way I could. But the day when my Helen died, the life force inside me began to go away. My energy began to fade. I feel weaker every day. I can't feel you anymore. I try, but I can't. My Helen, I loved you so much. I'll never forget our first kiss. We were kids. After that kiss, our lives separated. But we met again at college. I was always a jerk with girls, but you, you were different. You could understand just from the look in our eyes that we would never leave each other again. It was as if that kiss that we gave each other as children linked us together forever. And that's how it was. Children, grandchildren, we had a happy life full of love for so many years. Today is the last day of my life. I can feel it, but I'm not afraid. We have not been together for a long time, but you're all so alive in my memory. My big brother. You always protected me until the end of your life. My little sister, so beautiful and so crazy. You were so funny as a child. Mom, I loved you so much. Always a strong woman. And also charming and clumsy. But you always kept things together. Thank you. This is the only picture I have of you. And I owe every beautiful thing in my life to you. But I can't see you under this white sheet. And now I can't remember your face. Your memories are fading slowly with my life. You gave me the energy that let me live for so many years. I hope my memories were precious for you, too. Thanks for keeping your word. You are always with me. Thank you, E.T.
us eternally together.